So this is Lichi Lam and this is the organizer, uh, Miss Lau. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she's gonna show us around and tell me a more. Let's start from here. Okay. So what's the what's this? Uh, so so Lichi Lam is the maker space. Uh -huh. We have uh, kids and adults working on their own project. And this area you you can see is the most messy area. It's mainly for Adult maker like Yannick, so we have. Wow, this is Yannick. Yeah. <laughs> Yannick, can you introduce your project? No, I think there are so many projects. But, uh, this she project, was one of them. Oh, this one. This project is uh, for university in the UK, and it's used to monitor the temperature and humidity and the energy use in the home, and it's intended to help people to reduce how much energy they use. So you, you make all of this in Michelin. No, no, no. These, these were made in a factory. These are the ones that have some problem and are being tested just now. Oh, and I see. Um, so did the kids help a little bit? Yeah. Oh, some older kids helped. Older kids? Like <laughs> students. Yes. <laughs> and and in, from on here, what do we have? Oh, so oh soldering like iron. Uh, here is the workbench, and then we have soldering station, uh -huh. and printer, and... A little battery I use for, looks like for my drones. Yes, yeah, so small, little battery, uh -huh. and uh, this, this uh, machine for the, the, the surface mount circuit board, uh -huh. and you can heat the circuit board here, and mount the solder, and then the components will be connected to the board. And printer and replace the printer by like this. Ah. Oh. Scan your hand. Scan his hand. And create another Nokia. Oh. You can see two hands on the wall. Oh yeah. Nokia stuff. What's Nokia? Oh, it's not easy. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, let's see. And yeah. And then, yeah. Working on the project. Oh, this did, did, I, did you do this like in the lab? I, I did yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you use this? Yeah, I used the uh, aluminum, but I pre ordered it online. Like, I just told them what size I want, they yeah, cut yeah. it for me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then I just folded them at home. We right? can cut it here. You can cut it yeah, here. Yeah, we have the machine that can cut it, cut it here. So or maybe cut the heart, look at my arms. <laughs> The machine can cut it, so it's okay. So Yannick use it to make the ah. so, um, this is this is an interesting project. Here are three version of it. But this is the first one to test if this can work. And then the second version and the final version, which is the audio is like it's quite good, you can try. Uh, for also to play music, like oh, okay, music. But we're connected to uh, Bluetooth? Yeah, yeah. Bluetooth. You can try I don't know if I have good uh, players. <laughs> people don't like my music, what do I do? <laughs> they will like it. And we develop this because we want to like develop a workshop for parents and kids to work out together and using the material that around young from students that you can find it in a corner of a street or something like hardware store and mix it. Here is a small milling machine. Ah, the few, few milling machine is the small one. Sure, this is actually. Uh, we had a conversation about this recently, and this I consider. Well, open hardware, a form of open hardware, a Chinese form of open hardware. So, talking about it, there's a lot of like things that call themselves open hardware, call themselves maker companies in China at the moment. And one could have a debate about whether they really are, because they use a lot of proprietary parts, and you can't make your own version of it. This little engraving machine I bought on Taobao uh, a few months ago. Uh, it costs about 700 RMB, so what's that, $130 or so. And it's actually a really practical machine. So I milled some PCBs with it, and it managed to get some really fine detail on the PCB. So it's, it's a very accurate machine, it's very practical, and there's many different versions of this machine that can be found in China. So it's basically someone came up with an original design, 
and somebody else changed it, somebody else changed it, someone selling it on Taobao. So it is a real kind of oh, look at this. <laughs> To cut something and make someone cute. Wow, look at here. All of these, the, the kids, oh. yeah. to learn about the material and how to do it from material. I saw this stuff and I was like, wow, oh, man. It's a great country. Yeah. 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 If kids have an idea, they're like, we won't do this, oh, you can use the laser cutter, just like cut whatever you want, and then put it together, and then use Arduino or anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 so they are, uh, that's another, another kind of courses also, so they work on their own project mm -hmm. as a group, and they use those ideas, that project to enter some competition or something. That's another part from the workshop, from the course, but we are doing that also. So this is the... <laughs> So we argue is this an open source product, mm -hmm. open source hardware product. Mm -hmm. so, okay, they have patent on this part. Okay, they are not. <laughs> <laughs> but people think this is the. And also, like this kind of other uh, machine which has similar function is 700 MB roughly. Oh. So. This is a co copy from. Um, yeah. From an American design, open source project. Yeah, from open hardware project. So this is maybe more in the spirit of open hardware because they take another open hardware design, they make some modifications, release a new thing. So more and more people are getting. It. Oh, but one last thing, I just want to see the bigger laser cutter. Oh, there. Yeah. Show me, man. I'm saving. I'm saving. We made this one. Very cool. Wow, there's a, I didn't know there's an oh I wish this oh there, there's this is what I'm dreaming yeah, yeah. so this is the laser cover and this uh painting station Oops. Take color. And this is the, the big uh, CNC machine. CNC machine, yeah. The big one that you use water to go it down. This is, in some sense, this is another example of the kind of open hardware in China. Because there are a lot of different factories that sell machines based on this kind of basic design. And they use a lot of common components like the motor controllers. The, Windows, the servers. So there's a, a kind of a knowledge base in China that is exchanged between many different factories. So I think it's a kind of example of open hardware in China that people maybe sometimes no, I ignore. I saw this and uh, CNC machine and the laser cutter at, at uh, the innovation uh, fair a couple of days ago mm. uh, for the Fat Lab. I'm like, oh, if I. <laughs> The, the standard equipment uh, from the, the list that uh, produced by the Fat Foundation, and that's quite expensive because people uh, from the Fat Foundation they, 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 they buy all equipment in USA. Oh, the, all of them came not from China? They, they don't know that much about China, so they can only buy the things that they can find and make that a list and soil follow that list. That's why that set is quite expensive. Like, if you want to buy the standard set, mm -hmm. it can be up to like. Yeah. Yeah. Something really like uh like uh like a uh, uh 几千块, like couple of thousand why online I'm looking for and then I ask around who wants me to do a review for their like sort of cutter I'm like if I do it for you we will <laughs> because I'm saving I'm already buying a lot of components doing my little projects I'm you know I'm not the kind of like uh I'm the girl, kind of girl that worried about my uh, uh, projects not the